Hello students, today we're going to look at finding the surface area of a cylinder. We've done rectangular prisms and triangular prisms, so today we're going to look at a cylinder. A cylinder, you will remember, looks like a can, and it has uh, a circle and a circle and a rectangle. And um, the cylinder has the shape of the base is a circle, and the lateral part of the cylinder is a rectangle. So to draw a cylinder, we could just use two circles and then connect them. And that'll be our, our circle. We've got to know the radius. So the radius of this one we're going to use is 5. Okay. Now, the formula to find the surface area of a cylinder is SA equals 2 pi RH plus 2 pi R squared. Now, let's think just a little bit. If you remember from last year, the rectangle of the cylinder um, has a height. Well, we forgot to put the height. We're going to have to put a height of 12. Has a height here, which is one dimension of the rectangle. The other dimension of the rectangle is wrapped around those circles. And you remember when you wrap something around a circle, that's the circumference. So that's why we have uh, 2 pi r. 2 pi r there is the circumference of that circle. So, and then we multiply it by the height. Then, if we're adding the two bases to find the total surface area, well, we've got a circle, and the formula for area of a circle is pi r squared. There's two of them, so that's 2 pi r squared. That's where that formula comes from. So all we have to know is the radius and the height, and we can plug those in, and we can find the surface area. So um, in this case, we know that the surface area equals 2 pi, and the r is 5, so times 5 times the height, which is 12, plus 2 pi, and then r, again, times 5 squared. And at this point, um, I need to move the camera, and at this point, we're just going to plug it into the calculator. Just like the other formulas, the first part of the formula before the plus sign is the lateral area, and the last, if you continue to go, is the total surface area. So let's plug this into the calculator. Um, and we're going to have 2 times pi, and if you remember, pi is the second squared uh, power of key, 2 pi times r, which is 5, times 12, just like that. And then we're going to hit enter, and that's going to give me my lateral, 376.99, and we always round to the hundredth. And so our lateral area equals three seven whoops three seven six point nine nine. And now I'm just gonna hit the plus sign and I'm gonna keep going. Plus two times pi times five squared. I just hit the plus sign and then two times pi times five squared, and I hit enter. And there is my total surface area, which would be 534.07. So SA equals 534.07. As long as you know the formula, and it's going to be on your formula chart, you've got to find the radius and the height. You can plug it in, and you found the surface area and also the lateral area. In this case, for this problem, we have a cylinder that's laying on its side, and I'm given the diameter of the cylinder, which is 8, and the height of the cylinder, which is 15. So we need to find the lateral area and the surface area. So I'm going to just write the formula down. SA equals 2 pi RH plus 2 pi R squared. And let's fill in our numbers. 2 pi, and what is R? No, R is not 8. We have to divide 8 by 2 in order to find the radius, and that's 4 times 4 times 15 plus 2 times pi, and again, r is 4 times 4 squared. Okay, so we're going to plug that into our calculator. 2 pi times 4 times 15, and I'm going to stop there so that I can find the lateral, and with the lateral, I'm given 376.99. Dang, I didn't plan that. So LA equals 376.99. And if I keep going, I'm going to do plus 2 
times pi times r, which is 4, squared, just like that. And I hit enter, and I get 477.52. So the surface area equals 477.52. So once again, I'm using my calculator to do all of the calculations for me after I fill in the numbers that I need to fill in to the formula. And here's your practice problem. It is a cylinder. It has a diameter of 20 and a height of 100. And I need you to find the lateral area and the surface area. Remember, there's a calculator on your iPad. You can use a calculator on your phone. Round to the nearest hundredth place at the very end, if necessary.